What's up there, everybody? It's your boy, the Blind Bearded Chef, also known as Zeke. But anyway, you know it's cold outside, and when it get cold outside, we want our soups, we want our bisques, we want our gumbo, we want our charter. So you know what? I'm about to do something good for y'all. I'm going to call this a creamy, cheesy seafood charter in a bread bowl. So y'all know I, I love making bread. So I'm going to show y'all how to make bread bowls. And um, we're going to put our seafood charter in it. So my scene going to be different today because I'm visiting my mom's house. So I had to make up a little... <laughs> I had to make up a little kitchen on the table with her hot plate so my camera can be pointing into the ingredients and uh, how to cook it. So stay tuned. Be right back. Y'all stay warm out there. Louisiana finally getting some cold weather, and I love it. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all. While my yeast activated, I'm about to show y'all. Y'all see my potatoes? I got my potatoes cut up and cubed with some salt and pepper and a little olive oil. So I'm about to roast my potatoes. And also at the same time, like I said, I'm improvising on my, mom, my mama house. That gonna be some applewood bacon. So that's my applewood bacon that I'm going to also um, put in the oven. Let this get ready. So all this could be getting together at one time. All right, be right back. All right, y'all, let me show you all these ingredients for this seafood, creamy, cheesy uh, seafood charter. There's a lot of stuff, so bear with me. Here's my red, um, red onion. My hands with my mom as I what you call them. Here is my red bell pepper. Here is my diced green bell pepper. Okay. I also have um this is my green onion tops. Um here my green onion bottoms. I like to separate it. I also got this is my um this is shrimp right here. This is crab meat right here. That's crab meat. I know I get my own crab meat out of my own crabs. This is crawfish. That's some crawfish that I picked out of, um, that I bought a sack of crawfish and um, blanched them in. So I may have some paws in there. So that's my crawfish. Let me put all that right there. I bought me some oysters. Where's my oysters? Right here. Got me some oysters. I put some oysters in there. Like I said, I'm not in my house, so I'm limited with space. Um, right here, I bought me some baby, some um, Bella, baby portobello mushrooms. That's gonna go in there. I have um, Gouda cheese, so I got smoked Gouda right here. I got American, white American cheese, and I have some Swiss cheese. I might not put all that in there. I have a pint of heavy whipping cream. I have some white wine, dry white wine. I have seafood stock. Because I forgot mine's at the house, so I had to buy some seafood stock. I got the bacon. Y'all see me put the bacon in the oven. I got the potatoes cubed up in the oven. And I got two cans of, um, hold up. And two cans of uh, cream potato soup. All right, also, my well, mama got a hot plate, so I'm going to cook in front of y'all. Y'all yeah, right. I got me some butter in my skillet. I'm going to saute down my, my, um, my shrimp first. So, I put me some onion powder, garlic powder, a little slap your mama, and black pepper on my shrimp. So, I'm going to saute down my shrimp. Then I'm going to add my crawfish to this. Remember those crawfish was blanched already when I when I peeled them. Yeah, let's, let's get this out the way. And we're gonna work on the chowder part separately. Alright. Let me add my crawfish. I should have got me a bigger skillet, but we're gonna make them do. <coughs> so I season my crawfish the same way. And let them saute down just a little bit. A little. Okay, saute down. I'm taking my spoon and getting them out. And I'm a, <clears throat> I'm a, um, I'm gonna put my little, my few oysters in now. Let them fry down a little bit. 
All right, y'all. There go my few little oysters. I can go and take them out. Y'all see they shrunk up, huh? It was too damn expensive to get a whole thing of, so I got one little container for eleven dollars. That's enough. That's enough for the flavor. All right. Now let's get this chowder together. I got me about two tablespoons of butter heat up in there. Now let's add this half a that's a half a um red onion chopped up. Let's add the red onion. Let's add um. Let's add them green onion bottoms. <clears throat> green onion bottoms. All right. Let's add some green bell pepper. That's a whole <laughs> green bell pepper. And, well, I'm not gonna put it out because I gotta put some for a little color. Add some red bell pepper. Oh, we're gonna say about a half. All right. And let's saute down. Let's saute saute down some some mushrooms. Let's add our mushrooms in there. All right. Let's saute this down. All right, about 10 minutes after sauteing this down, that's still sauteing, you can go and add your garlic. That's about, um, just about four to five cloves of garlic that I messed up. All right. After adding that garlic in there for about two or three minutes, add you two tablespoons of flour. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Let's stir this in. Hey, I'm not used to this, this house. <laughs> I got that flour stirred in and it got a little yellow or whatever color it is. I'm about to deglaze this pot with two cups of white dry wine. I'm about to see that. All right, cup number one. All right, and cup number two. All right, let's start this in. Two cups of white wine. Let's add our heavy whipping cream. So, let's add. Cup number one. And cup number two. Well, actually, the whole pint. <laughs> so, add a pint of heavy whipping cream. Okay. Got that in there. Where my spoon at? Oh, here we go. Right, let's stir this in here. All right, let's add that oyster. Add that oyster juice in there. Let's add about three cups of seafood stock. And that is three cups of seafood stock. We'll see that we need more or less after a while. All right, let this, let this come to a boil and we'll be back. All right, y'all, now this has come to a boil. I'm about to add my two cans of, um, and my two cans of cream of potato soup. 
Well, I can get it out of here. Let me go out here. I have two cans of cream potato soup. And don't forget, we still got those roasted potatoes to go in there, too. Okay, this is a good seafood charter. Mm-hmm. I don't make it that often. You see, it's very rich. Let me add two cans of this in here. See in here right quick, y'all. Let's sprinkle this a little. A little pepper. Let me add a little. Little onion powder. Little garlic powder. And let's add a little, um, just a little bit of, little bit of slap your mama for now. All right, so let me stir. I did my spoon. <laughs> let's add a little bacon in here, y'all. Let's start add, building these flavors up. So let's add some bacon in there. Touch your mama. Stir some bacon in there. And let's go ahead and stir in. Um, let's stir in these. Um, yeah. Let's go in and stir in those cheeses. So let's stir in those. I told y'all this is going to be a creamy chowder soup. Creamy cheesy chowder soup. So that's those three cheeses. That's that Gouda. The American, the white American, and that's the Swiss. All right. Put that melt in there. Those cheeses in there, y'all. Look how creamy that's getting. See how creamy that's getting? Now let's add those roasted potatoes. Yeah, I do extra. I go all out when I make stuff. So let's add those roasted potatoes that I roasted in the oven. This is a charter. This is a seafood charter. So you're going to have potatoes and seafood and cheeses. This is a very rich dish. And y'all know I got to show y'all my bread has risen. So we still have to do the, um, we still have to do the bread bowls for this to go in. But I like to get this out the way. Then I can tend to the bread. All right. Y'all see that? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, let me stir, stir in these roasted potatoes. I told you I'm all about, look at that. Stir the potatoes in. Now, next, all we have to do is, um, we're going to stir in our seafood. After I see if we got enough. Oh, I added a teaspoon of salt in here just a while ago because it needed a little salt. So, look how creamy that is. All right, all right, about to put the top on it, let it simmer for a few minutes, guys. All right, y'all, now that the charlotte is pretty much ready, all we got to do is now is fold in our seafood. So let's add in those shrimp and crawfish. Add all those shrimp and crawfish in there. We're gonna add in a few pitiful ass oysters in there. Next time I buy more oysters, y'all. Add that in there. So that's that. So we got the crawfish in there. We got the shrimp. We got the oysters. And um, all we gotta do is add some the crab meat. All right, y'all. We are gonna add some fresh green onion tops in there. Add some fresh. Add that towards the end. Like that right there. And I'm just going to tell y'all season to taste. I added a little more slap your mom and a little more a pinch of salt in there. Because remember we already had cooked the crawfish and the shrimp. With seasoning. So. Alright. I can go and turn this off. And put the top on it. And this is your seafood. This is your seafood charter. Now let's add our crab meat. Add our crab meat in there. Give it another dimension of flavor. Like I say, that crab meat I picked out as a 
crab meat from a crab ball we had. So it's good and flavored with crab ball. And that's it, y'all. Now, let's get that bread together. There we go. That's it, y'all. It is ready. All right. All right, y'all. That goes my creamy um, seafood chowder in the bread bowl. So there we go. Give y'all a taste test. I didn't decorate it all cute for y'all. <laughs> all right, let's taste this stuff, y'all. Let's taste it. Y'all, time for a taste test. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Ooh, all my stuff leaking out. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. I did that. Give me some bread. So you gotta grab that bread around there like that. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. Y'all see me make it. Let's go make it some. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>